For today is Veterans Day and we honor those who served our country. For families who lost loved ones during the COVID-19 outbreak at the Holyoke Soldiers Home, this is an especially important day. Western Mass News reporter Sarah Grinelli spent times with some of the veterans' families and joins us at our MGM studios with more. Sarah? Jordan, the families I spoke with say they couldn't be more proud of their loved ones who proudly served our country. On Veterans Day, we are honoring these three brave men who fought for our country, bonded together by a love of our nation and their time spent at the Holyoke Soldiers Home. Today is a day to just be thankful for all the men and women that have served and are continuing to serve. Loria Bodet's dad was one of 76 veterans who died during the coronavirus pandemic at the Holyoke Soldiers Home earlier this year. She remembers her father, not just as a man who served in the Navy for four years, but as a great father with a big sense of humor. I have a lot of fond memories of my dad. Just miss his smile, his laughter, just everything about him. Another veteran, Anthony King, turned 102 before passing away from the coronavirus at the home in April. In 1934, at just 16 years old, King stood up for human rights. His niece, Ann Haskell, tells Western Mass News his baseball team went to North Carolina to try to get into the major leagues until the team decided not to play. One of their players was African-American, and my uncle Tony was the captain of the team. And when they got to North Carolina in 1934, they said that they wouldn't allow his African-American player to play because of his color. So my uncle and the rest of the team said we all play or none of us play. Haskell says years later in the 1940s, he served as a radio man in the Navy. She's proud of her uncle who fought for every person's life. He stood up for racism before Rosa Parks and Jackie Robinson and even Dr. Martin Luther King. My uncle did this in 1934. He never told anyone about it. He never, he acted like it was just the right thing to do. And Cheryl Turgeon says her father, Dennis, still lives at the Holyoke Soldiers' home. She treasures the time they spent together. She says he enlisted in the Air Force when he was 17 and a half years old. Went over to the Korean War and he was on the bombers where he dropped supplies to the troops and took enemy combat and earned him a peace medal. Uh, so he is a hero. And coming up tonight at Western Mass News at 6 o'clock, we're honoring another local veteran who died in combat just last year. Live at MGM Studios, I'm Sarah Grinelli for Western Mass News.